What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Keenan from KeenanRivals.com and uh, today it is a ugly rainy day but that's not going to kill my energy. I'm feeling pretty good. I uploaded that film video and a few of you reached out to me gave me some tips on like why the contrast was shitty, why the pictures didn't look that great and yeah I don't know man. I'm not trying to be like a hipster or anything of that nature but this whole film wave or vibe or whatever I just went through like just getting those scans back was really exciting to me so I want to keep that going. What I'm thinking right now is to head to my local thrift store just to see if I can find like a point and shoot camera and just keep your fingers crossed for me. I need something like 10 bucks and under. All right guys, so I made it to the Salvation Army hoping that this is the only place that I have to hit up. I'm not trying to drive all around all day. Before we go in though, I do want to point out like this little, there we go. Look at that little line of smoke. I see it here quite often, but definitely going to remember that location for a future shot. I feel like it gets me kind of cool, get somebody walking through it. I've done one like that before, but there's always opportunity for similar shots and you know, just better execution. But yeah, let's go into the store. Hopefully they have what we need. Hello. Hello. All right, so I've been here a couple of times and it's not really known for it's like huge tech selection. Not a lot of electronics here, but you know, you never know who's gonna donate. So every now and then you might find a gym. I'm looking down right now and I'm not seeing much. So first glance was a no. Ah, oh, this bumps me out. Nothing. Do you know if there's like another Salvation Army around here at all? Or? I don't know, 58, 58 Burner Highway. So like in all honesty, I kind of predicted that this one wouldn't have anything, but I wasn't expecting an epic like fail. So yeah, that was quick. She told me there's another location like three miles away. So we're gonna hit that spot. Let's pull it up to the second spot. The Salvation Army is low key looking kind of small. I'm not, I'm not optimistic. And, and it just has way too many lights. Like my, my theory is the brighter the Salvation Army, the worse the stuff. When you walk into the Salvation Army and it's like dark and gray, they have fire. When you walk into one and it's like lit like TJ Maxx, they, they never have anything. Did find it. No. All right, so I go to the thrift store all the time and see cameras, like all the time. Not always the best film cameras, but I at least see one. So I have a theory. People just not passing down cameras in the hood. Probably need to go a little bit further out to a different Salvation Army. Nearest Salvation Army, closest to the suburbs. Let's see what we find. So I've been taking non-stop L's all day. I went to two thrift stores, got no camera. Tried to go to a third thrift store, freeway was closed, ended up on a one way to Canada. Not sure how I got in that situation. I spent the last 30 minutes trying to find a parking space just so I can get coffee. And in the midst of trying to find this parking space, I saw like five fire shots. So I'm like, oh, I wanna shoot now. I got all into street photography mode. I get out of the car and it starts to hail. None of that's gonna stop me from doing what I wanna do today. I'm gonna grab my coffee. We're gonna get some images in. Tell y'all, it's that positive no matter what.
It's your city, man. Yeah, my city, ho. <laughs> No, just the smoke and cigarette or the uh, cigar. I take street pictures to people, but uh, I try to like stand behind the corner so they all need a cigar strip. It just makes a mystery. Like, who's that? Or... I got too much downtime. You know. Just wrapped up an intense editing session at the coffee shop. Today was a very stressful day, but I got through it, man. Like, I got so much work to do, and I just haven't had the time to, like, figure it all out. I've been taking on so many projects, and I'm not used to this, and my time management is poor, and honestly, a lot of it is just overwhelming. So, it felt pretty good to just go sit down for a few hours, knock some things out, uh, check off some boxes, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to go out and shoot today because it, it honestly is therapy for me. Like I say camera therapy on the blog, but getting out there, taking pictures is honestly what makes me feel like at peace. Outside of that, one thing I want to stop doing as well is just creating objections for myself. Uh, when I was out here earlier, it was like 11 o'clock and I was kind of driving through. I saw all those great shots and I kept telling myself like, oh, I want to go shoot street, but it's just not a good time. Like 11 o'clock in my opinion is the worst time to take pictures. And yeah, I was happy to go out there and just give it a shot. I don't know if I got the best pictures ever, but it's definitely a different look than what I'm used to. Like being out here and not having a lot of people around you just makes you be creative. And that's what I did. I used those pigeons. I kind of got some individual subjects. And yeah, I turned a bad day into overall a pretty good one. So I stayed productive, got the shots. We didn't get the camera, but Maybe next time. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. About to head home. Job. Peace. All them nights I stayed up, trying to get my cake up. Tell my girl